the meeting for Wednesday or Thursday night? No, that that'll be posted tomorrow. Okay. No, Owen sent something out today, didn't he? That was for the school board meeting. Oh, oh that no, that was for Dale Street, right? Oh, yeah, the school building committee. That it was, was SBC. Committee. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So that that'll go out. Um, yeah, tomorrow. Right, Jeff. The the link to school committee that'll go out tomorrow afternoon. We posted tomorrow. Yeah. So did someone want to share the screen with the um, the post outline? Is it, does Gina or uh, Lynn have it? Uh, the presentation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, Larry. Oh, Larry. Yeah, I was just thinking that it's to me. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Uh, Larry, I have it right here if you would like me to do it. It's uh, revision four, correct? That's the latest one that I see. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Tina's been um, doing this and she is out this week. So speaking of scrambling, um, but I think we have one that is um, ready for discussion. Great. Um, and let me see, sorry, let me turn to my notes. Hang on for a minute. Harry, I've uh, made you a co-host, so you should be able to share your screen when you're ready. Okay. Okay, so if it, can folks see this one? Oop, oop, sorry, hang on. I always forget. There's the last step. Okay, now you should see it. Yep. Cool, okay. Sorry, there's that little step that I have to take to say, yes, that is what I wanna do. Um, and let me put this into presentation mode and go back. So we have our usual um, opening page, um, then the agenda and looking through my notes. Um, we said, Tim Bonfati, you were going to start with yes. the uh, introduction, talk about the agenda and the timeline slash schedule. Where are we today? Right, so yeah, so um, you wanna go to the next slide just well, yeah, I thought, oh, do I don't know. You... Talk quickly? Okay, yeah, yeah. Run yeah. through real quick, yeah. and then we can, if you guys sort of want to quote unquote practice um, or just go into more depth, we could. Um, Jeff, um, our assumption was you would talk through the grade level configuration mm -hmm. issues, um, talking about the ed benefits, and then I would step in and talk for a minute about the design studies, but um, really mostly it's just saying that either side can accomplish um, that. Then the uh, considerations, and I think Lynn, you were gonna walk through that and the financials. What, what does considerations mean in this context again? Yeah, I'm looking at my notes and I'm scratching my head as well. Let me, um, let me so let me fast forward. Okay, so agenda from school committee. Okay, um, so let's stop there for a minute. And then, and then Tim, do you Tim, need anything to talk through your introduction or are you just, just um, you're not standing? So this, this is the primary reason for this is for school committee to hear public input on, on the um, grade configuration, right? That's, that's the primary purpose. So let me, let me think about what I might give you, Larry, for some slides to put around an introduction. Yeah, um, if you remember, we had at one point, because we had pulled from other presentations, we had this sort of MSBA flow chart, but we felt like that was 
uh, yeah well unnecessary. the pipeline is the what is the other one i don't know whether that um um if whether <laughs> we did have a timeline didn't didn't we get sent one didn't you send us one lynn or gina timeline size yeah, should we just jump right to the timeline i thought that um my understanding was that, um, you know, we're going to keep this concise and um, Tim would provide the overview, the context and what we're charged with doing. And I think um, he has the experience, he has the knowledge, et cetera, to kind of set the stage for what has to be done. Right. So this, so if we go through these, like, I don't think we need these slides only because, um, yeah, so sorry, I'm, I'm going pretty fast, but so we have timeline slides and these are the ones. So we said we will scrap. <laughs> take those I don't out. Think we need slide six and seven. I think we should get to this timeline. I do think, I think I, that would be good, Anime, to do just some quick introduction about, you know, that this is to give feedback around the grade configuration issue for the benefit okay. of school committee and their vote which is happening when is that vote august 27th and that that is going to help uh that that, that information is critical for the building committee to make a you know the next step which is site selection and then looking at this that i'll walk through sort of this process to get to um our goal is there is there another what's the next slide after this one larry so i think i would prefer to have this one be the first one which is sort of the broader discussion and then narrow it to the so okay. that we switch slides nine and eight okay and then um i'll talk through the timeline just and why it's important that we have this discussion today and the school committee make its vote and that the building committee is to make its decision about site selection in so, September. Okay, so Tim, is this part about forming the project team and designer selection helpful or is that just? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna go right to the, to the uh, June, to the spring town meeting vote. So I, I, you can leave it there just, but I, you know, I don't think we need it. So let's take that out and you're saying that really, this is really, this is sort yeah. of the meat of what you're right. trying yeah. to get to, right? As sort of big picture context, and then in the immediate future is the next slide. Okay, so let's at least we, trim. We we were gonna ex we were gonna change that one too. Do you want to do oh, May yeah. town meeting or June? I we want to do May. We want to do May town meeting. Okay. Or even if you want to call it spring town meeting, I, I don't care, but I don't, we don't want to say an either or thing. Okay. So I just assume say spring town meeting in 2021 as the details around it, I think need to be flushed out. Okay. And we're going to take this out. Just so I'm clear, you didn't need the slide that said S or SC to provide agenda, correct? I can delete that one. Right. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. So you don't want to show the where we started from to where we're ending up with for the uh, schematic design. So you want to take off the first part. I, I don't think from the pro I think just the project team forming the project team is not that important. I think the feasibility study is good for people to see. So okay. I, I would just delete the purple box there. Okay. Yeah. And even uh, I don't care if you want to leave it. I'm not going to talk to it. It, it does, you know, if it's easier just to leave it. I don't care. It's just uh, it, really we're going to talk about 2021 in this slide. And so down here where it says MSBA board approval June 2021, that's okay because up here we're saying spring town meeting. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we have to decide. You know we don't that's fine yeah okay um then i just rearrange them so um then we would talk more specifically about um the next few months 
Yeah. And this was the point. There's a school committee vote August 27th. School building committee decide a site on September 9th. Board of selectmen to essentially ratify on the September 15th with submission to the MSBA October 27. And then to the point we had conversation about last week, uh, the facilities assessment subcommittee, which Tim, if you're speaking to this, you may want to talk about what that means yeah, um, or not. Uh, pe people can be confused on that one. Yeah. And then board vote anticipated December 16th. Yeah, I mean, um, the ins facilities assessment subcommittee is important to us because it allows us to know you can start schematic design, but I don't really frankly think we need to get into that with the people. So I don't care if you want to get rid of that. Well, leave, leave it there for now. Leave it, leave okay. it. Okay. That's fine. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. If you want to just call it the MSBA review meeting, that would be a simpler way to not confuse folks. Um, leave it that way, yeah. Okay. So then we had great configuration, educational considerations. And I think, Jeff, you had spoken to these slides in another iteration of this back, I don't know, it seems like back a thousand years ago when we could actually be together. Right. <laughs> um, and what we've left in, so first is the, what happens to each of the schools under the current configuration, the grade four or five configuration and the grade three through five configuration. Then the sort of, as we were talking last week, we said there's kind of a neutral presentation on this. Um, I think, and let me just then forward. So this is the four or five configuration and the next one is the three through five. And I think these were primarily educationally driven because at one point we talked about either Leftfield or Arrow Street presenting these two slides, but I think we ended up with Jeff talking them through. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Just those wanted to be. Um, and those are similar, Jeff, to ones that you we've worked on previously. Um, then we split these up a little bit just to give ourselves a little more white space on the page, so to speak. Instructional considerations, sorry, instructional considerations. Um, and then you let you talk a little bit in detail about that. And then um, I think when we got together last week, there was some discussion about having a essentially a recommendation from the educators to the school committee. Here's what we recommend. Um, if you want us to put together some sort of slide to that effect, we could do that. Um, alternatively, it can be a purely verbal. So Jeff, um, we, this came up in our meeting on Thursday or Wednesday, I forget when we last met, was essentially but I'm not saying, I don't know that we need to do it now. It's up to you really, whether you wanted to, um, you know, the, the theory was is that we would lay out sort of the educational reasons and then if the, 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 here is what the superintendent was going to recommend to school committee on uh, based on educational reasons, not, not, uh, not necessarily, you know, not taking for instance, cost into account. Um, but I don't know, it's up to you whether you want to because it's kind of like, it is a little premature given that you're going to be actually doing that at school committee a week later or two weeks later. Yeah, I mean, I think it, I don't know if I'd want it right there. If, if there's any kind of recommendation, I, I think I would want to do it at the very end. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm not sure I, I'd want to do that right there. Yeah. yeah. And to, and your, to point, your point, maybe we sort of assume that because this is a listening session um, you're not coming out forthright and making a recommendation, but I think certainly you're you're on these two pages talking about the strengths of the three through five. 
configuration. So in some ways you're you're saying why it's a it, why it's helpful and important, but maybe not making a strong recommendation statement at this at this meeting makes sense. So we'll take that page out. Um, sorry, let's see. There we go. Okay. So um, we talked about walking quickly through the sites and the different grade configurations, and it felt to me like we don't want to go through all whatever we've got, four plus seven, 11 schemes in detail, and that'll just take up everybody's time. So we thought these two pages, this is the Dale Street and the different configurations we've studied for Dale Street. Uh, the next page is similar, although less project configurations for Wheelock. And I think the overall um, tenor of these is we've studied carefully, each has its own issues that would be need to be resolved, but um, overall either site could work for either great configuration. But that was the conclusion we arrived at, right? That we wanted. Yeah, and I, and I think we can say that. Um, we do have, as I mentioned, if somebody has questions, we've got, you know, 20 pages of slides for this stuff. Um, but it just felt like it was just going to bog down everything if we start plowing through all that. Right. So I can do that pretty quickly. Um, considerations. Okay. Info required by the school committee. What was that supposed to be? I thought we were going right into price, you know, cost. What is this going to cost a taxpayer? I think. It's okay. So financial. So let's put a hold on that for a minute, the considerations, and we'll come back to it if we need to, or I'll just take it out. Okay. Um, we had put together um, this page, which shows the estimated costs. Um, I think, Lynn, you had a nice page um, that we were looking at a short while ago. You want, um, me show, you want me to show it? Yeah, we could do that. So this is the construction costs um, and estimated project costs. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, um, I thought we were going to add another column or maybe another slide, which was, you know, that everyone's going to want to know what's it going to cost me. Yeah, so why don't I stop I think sharing? We should, I think we should, um, that should be released in the SBC. I'd, Okay. Um, you know, the, the overall cost, the, the, the SBC to have the uh, ability to chime in on all that before we release it in public uh, in this forum. Okay. That's my sense. I don't know if. As long as we have it, I'm cool. But, 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 you, but this is after the SBC season, right, Mike? No, I'm talking about today. This meeting is a public forum. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean yeah, yeah, okay. I understand. So I, I need to revise the bottom numbers based on some increases that we included in the soft costs. So the bottom two lines need to be updated before I give them back to Larry to insert in, but this is kind of what the, the slide's gonna look like. So essentially we would drop that into this location in the presentation. Oops, sorry, you're not seeing my screen now. Um, and you want to net it out. I think. So will we be able to clearly see, you know, taxpayer on the average household, that kind of a, you know, very, very clear. Yeah. Okay. All no, right. I mean, I, I think we should have, because I, I get the, the point of the per thousand, but it requires people to do math. And it's sometimes a lot simpler to just have the average assessment, yeah. you know, for the average home in Medfield, it's this is the assessment, here's the tax impact with the assumptions of, you know, whatever we choose, 30 years, what interest rate or whatever. And this is the, this is the impact on the three, four, one, three, five, and this is the impact on four, five, based on, you know, assumptions we, we point out how much we think the town share will be. Yeah, and we do know we have some work to do on that. Um, 
you know, based on how we're putting the total project cost together. So we have to go back and revise those lines, but we will have that and we'll include the, include the actual cost based on average home. Yeah. So um, should I go back to sharing my screen? Oh, there it is. And also, I, it's, it's Tim, I had to get dropped out for a, a bit of it. But I also, I wonder just, even on that cost, it's, there's a lot of rows, you know, like a lot of detail. Is it possible that you go less and say the range for each option is X? Because instead of, um, and we'd have to pull that up, but I'm just, you know, trying to. Yeah, I, I don't think we need that detail. I get you. I agree. Yeah, yeah like, like, and even, or if it's, it's cost per thousand, I do get that. Like, you could say the average home in Medfield, but you say what that is. You know, if your home is worth X, you could expect Y. We can just add a column, to, Larry. If you go back to your presentation, we can just add a column to that simple matrix. Right. As well. I think that's the that's like more like that one. Yeah. yeah, it's more consumable. Oops. Sorry, I did you guys say, see that? Yeah. So, I was going to say, um, I sort of feel like we could do two things. One is we can do this slide, um, or in the left field format, it does to me. It's sort of one and the same, but total project cost, get everybody to there, then flip the slide and go to, okay, here's the impact on your, uh, or on the average householder. And just simply have that information on that slide. Because I think if we add it to this one, it gets a little confusing. What about, what about adding a column to this slide once we're comfortable with the numbers? Once that says the estimated town share and then have a second slide that, that does the tax impact on the average home. I think that makes sense. So you're saying over here, and we can work on the formatting, it's estimated town share. And essentially that's talking about the split between MSBA and Medfield. Right, yeah. And I then basically, because the, to be honest, the discrepancy, the, the, the big numbers are going to be between grades three, five, and, and four, five, not, not within each of the little options and stuff. And then, mm -hmm. so the next slide we would do would have. Um, We'd probably carry that first line and the, uh, the site, the scope, then estimated town share, and then another column that says tax impact to make it clear. Well, I, I think, I think that, I think somebody made the point that it's a lot to put on one slide, but I just, I think that, I think if you go to the next slide, that would be, you'd have two slides on this. One is that first slide that we just saw. And then the slide, this, this slide would be the estimated, uh, the uh, tax impact on the estimate, on the average home. And so those would have two columns. It would have one for grades three, five, and it would have one for grades four or five. And it would should have some kind of conclusion that sort of shows people so that they can say, you know, it looks like I'm going to be paying an extra. If this is all relative, these are not what the numbers that anyone's voting on, like that's a year from now or eight, 10 months. So these are relative to all each other. So the, 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 the tax impact is, is a helpful for people to know that that's the premium you would pay if you went with a three five versus a four five. That's the that's the only point of it. It's not it's not the final tax impact. It's not it's relative to the grades four five to three five. So it's for comparison purposes only. Right. So so I think that should be laid out. So I, I mean you know if the tax table is. Seven hundred or eight hundred dollars on one, and, and eleven hundred on the other. Then the difference is three hundred dollars. Okay. But so, also, so sorry, um, Tim. You had mentioned, you know, the town share. You know, what is MSB? What is um, MSBA? And then the town. Do we? Because we don't have that, do we? Well, I, I think we're putting that on this one. Okay, on this one. All right. Yeah, because yeah, that's helpful. So, so, you know, I mean, we, we have to game plan it right now, and I think we're assuming an average. I think the plan would be to assume 25%, given we, we don't know until we go through the process what all the 
caps and everything's going to occur. But, you know, based on history, we know that it's somewhere around 10 points less than the reimbursement rate. Tim, do you, do you want to have that a little more specifically talked about or you think it's okay just to talk about it that way? In other words, I could see a third slide in between the two where you say our best guess at estimating the... I mean, Lynn, you're talking to this, right? Yes. So you, are, you, are you comfortable with the, the narrative you want to do around that? I, I think the, the, the end, this, is a, this slide sets up the next slide. So yep. it's essentially just to sort of explain the, I think it's important to explain to people that we're not, these numbers at this stage are really good on a relative basis, but not, not the numbers that people will be voting on because we have a lot more work to do on design. And the town share is, again, on a relative basis, we are applying based on sort of history and what we've seen happen collectively on other projects that what we know that when you start with a base rate that Medfield has and the final effective rate is roughly 10 points less. I mean, it's generally been that way on most of our projects. If you, but you have to speak to it, so you have to be comfortable with that. Um, yes, I like um, just adding the estimated town share to this one and then go to the next slide if we um, include the, the, the cost per taxpayer for those for the a grade, a, the average grade three through five and the average grade four through five. Um, if we include those th that range there for in terms of tax impact based on the average single family home. What is, um, Mike, what is the average single family home um, cost that you used? Uh, 675,000. Based on the information I got from uh, the administrator. Okay. But then would this be broken down to, you know, if it was the ad reno, if, if this was Dale Street, you know, Dale Street site, four, five, Dale Street site, three, four, five, that, that how the, the previous slide kind of parses it all out? Well, that's what I was previously trying to say. Um, Larry, if you go back to the slide before this one. So essentially, if you, if you just carry those first three, um, the first three columns, so you so you know, and then just add the tax impact instead of estimate instead of where you have the estimated construction cost, project cost, and estimated share. I would just say, use the first three columns, and after that, say estimated tax impact for the various ones. Well. Um I guess uh, when we talked a second ago, the the thought was um, to build up to that sort of step by step. So the average town share would tell you of the whatever it is, 67 to 73 million, the town would pay 25% of that to use Tim's number. Um, okay, so maybe the, second then, slide, maybe the second slide has site, scope, grade configuration, estimated town share, and then estimated tax impact drop. So that would be the second slide. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't think we want to copy this format onto the second slide and just have tax impact. I think that needs a new design to sort of clearly show the difference between the two grade configurations. So for instance, I don't think we want the base repair in this slide because the base repair distorts everything. People don't understand what it means. It's just a repair to the existing building, but it will show a, a much lower tax impact, obviously, because it's a lot less expensive. The other ones, when you look at them, for the purpose of sort of explaining that difference, they're pretty close within, within, within you know, they'll be, they'll be, so whether the tax impact under one is, uh, is you know five or six hundred dollars one scenario or and then when you go for say blades three five uh, four five and then you go three five there it's another th it'll show the same difference is my point and that's the only thing we're trying to for this purpose is i think we're trying to say to people 
you know, we're trying to give them the cost component to, for, the, for them to, to understand, do you want to spend an extra, under any of these scenario, an extra three or $400 a year to get the grades three, five versus the grade four or five. You know what I'm getting at? If you start getting really granular, looking at each one of those configurations, we're, we're not at that point now because we're not making the decision on the site. We just want to make the decision in this case for school committee to make the decision on the grade configuration only. So largely, I think we should come up with one number that explains that difference, not not multiple scenario numbers because they're misleading. So Tim, what- and Not what, that different, to be honest. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. And really the issue is the difference between the two scenarios, not necessarily the, the base right. cost, although people will be concerned about that. Right. So what if you did to Lynn's point, so this simply ends, and let me push that out of the way for a minute. This ends here and says, okay, estimated project cost between all the various scenarios. Then you go to this slide and we put up some number that says we're going to assume that Wheelock is this amount and Dale is that amount. And then the town share is uh, whatever it is. And that produces a tax impact of X. So use the town share one on this slide, you mean? Because you, you could say, to your point, you're sort of saying, okay, it's going to be about this many dollars for Dale and this many dollars for Wheelock. Boil it down to kind of broad strokes. I think, I think we're going to say it's going to be about this many dollars for grades three, five, and this many dollars for grades four, five. Yes. Right. I think, I think you're leading towards, Tim, as I listen to you, it's almost a text-based slide. Right, like hey, here's yeah. here's there's an assumption on the you know impact or the about the town share. You might have you know a couple assumptions, but really it, it is where you're going is just look. This is what it is. Yeah, it doesn't need a high, you know a complex table. Right, I that, it does. I think that's where you're going. Yeah, so we can say based on the average um, single family home of six hundred seventy five thousand at a tax rate of whatever it is, um, the anticipated tax impact for a grade four through five configuration is for a grade three through five configuration is. Yes, that's, that's exactly that. I think that's the concluding statement. And here's the, and you know, then here's the difference between the two, but that's, but that's it. Because that's what this slide's about is to help people understand for those educational benefits that we talked about, it's gonna cost you this much more money. So if you if you have town share of costs, grade four, five, three, five, uh, sorry, I've got this in two places, assume 25%, sorry. It's more or less the same, let me take this one out. And then here's the average impact on the homeowner. Right. Yes. So it's basically two lines, two columns. Be, yeah, and there might be a bold conclusion at the bottom. That's kind of like what Tim is saying. It's like text that says, you know, the difference is roughly $350. I mean, that, I mean, in my opinion, that's kind of, I mean, it's just my opinion, though, because that's the important point of these cost slides is the relative cost difference between the two scenarios. I mean, to some extent, it's also, it's also the expense of the cost of the project and, you know, and where we're starting off because unfortunately Medfield's tax base is so residential based, you know, these tax impacts, even they're just higher than we've seen on other projects. So, so, you know, you're starting at a high level and we're obviously adding a chunk to get to another high you know, to, to go with the bigger school. But, you know, it's all relative, right? So that to me is that's, that's the point and then let people comment on that. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to get in the weeds of, well, what if we do Wheelock, is it 50 bucks less or, you know, or if we do Dale, is it $50 less? It's not, it's not really that, it's the bigger, 
because we don't want to get into the discussion on site at this point. I unfortunately have to jump off for another call at five o'clock, but uh, Larry, I'll give, Ooh. I'll send you my um, okay. My slide, and I, and we can work on it together to get it to what you. you can do. Yeah, and sorry, I, I've got the uh, trash guys <laughs> coming through. Hang on, let me stop sharing for a minute. Um, I may have to mute myself. Let we me know if it goes them. bad. I don't hear them. No. No. Okay. Um. I think that was pretty much the last slide. So Lynn and I can work on this and get another round out to you guys. Um, and then from here on out, we had a whole collection of backup slides that we will have, I, I think in a separate file, just so that if somebody asks for the file that was presented, we'll have it. But um, we had, you know, all the different schemes if people have questions all the site plans the traffic all that stuff but um i think you know to run through that would be just to um uh get you far too much detail um i don't know whether you want uh we sometimes end with just questions and then that kind of allows you or um anime i think we had you down as kind of doing a conclusion yeah in terms of what school committee is charged with deciding in the next couple of weeks and also um, inviting folks to, I think we were gonna have a slide, that's it. Um, you know, um, if folks have, we will answer some questions, but if people have more comments, et cetera, to email, to email me or the school committee email address. Yes. I mean, could you just um, email me that email address so I can put it on the slide with like a questions and sure. chat slide? Sure. Thank you. So that will be um, basically a variation of this. So there it goes. Sorry, am I emailing Autumn? Yes, please. Yes, okay. please. Oh, sure. Um, and did we nix the consideration section? So let's finish yes. up on the conclusion. So anime, you'll, f you'll stand up and say, hey, everybody, now we want your opinions? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wrap it up and contextualize it. Okay. In terms of the next step for our school committee. Then let's go back to this slide. And I think the intent in Autumn, maybe your recollection is better than mine. Um, if there were any issues that the school committee thought were important um, towards helping to make that decision or presenting it to the public, we can put them in here, but uh, we kind of had some placeholder pages for the moment. We can take them out if there doesn't seem to be anything jumping forward. So, and you may have covered it while I stepped out or I had my computer died, but I, my recollection was at some point we were talking a little bit about like, um, the, I won't say logistics, but the idea of, of three to five, a three grade configuration, like the, the campus, the simpli simpli simplifying some of the other things. And I'm not sure if that's part of what Jeff, what you're talking about. And I'm, I'm just pulling up my notes, if you give me a minute, but I thought that's where we, that was the intention there. Along yeah, Tim, we, um, so let me go back to sharing my screen. I guess you guys didn't get um, distracted by the garbage truck. He was pretty pretty noisy at my end. Need your microphones doing a good job of blocking it. Yeah, apparently. Uh, so now you can see the presentation. So Tim, we had two slides that Jeff was going to talk from the sort of advantages and challenges for the two configurations. And those are more from the educational side. Um, and then from the architectural side, we had put together, and this was new from when we talked last week, these were sort of summary slides of saying, hey, we looked at a number of configurations and number of, we looked at both grade configurations, but a number of options on each of the two sites, Dale Street and Wheelock, and essentially conclude for folks that um, both sites can support both grade configurations reasonably well. So I'm not sure that that addressed your question or you still had some thoughts you wanted to 
Well, let's make four, and, and I don't want to belabor it, but maybe just go go to the advantages, go to those one more time. In yep, no problem. Anime, that was my recollection, was that that was where, where it was, but if you, if we captured it in what Jeff's saying. Yeah, I believe, I believe we did, uh, but maybe you missed it, Tim. They, it, they did have a slide where it said recommendation, and we thought maybe that's a little premature because we really need to um, go through the financials, et cetera, so maybe we'd hold off on that. Okay, so like I see, like you're so you're kind of capturing that it's your last bullet and challenges for four for five. I think I think that was the yeah. The There's this. Uh, we talk about it requires smaller building, maybe less expensive, but on the other hand, uh, there's some of these issues, and then we have the similar slide. If, if anyone has any bullet points that they want to add to these slides, like please email me them. Okay. Um, yeah, what, what I was going to say was I think we could get a draft of this out to you guys. Um, you know, it won't quite have this uh, cost pages that we just roughed up, um, but otherwise we could get the other pages out to you so you can add or subtract stuff. Please, thank you. When will you have the cost pages though? Because I think we need to get those, you know, in, in enough time to react to them. Um, I think Lynn was thinking she was going to do that tonight. Okay, so tomorrow or... I mean, uh, even, two even, things even here. Wednesday is fine. I think this page needs a little bit of... Um, I think these numbers need coordination. She was she was tweaking some of those numbers, the estimated right. project cost. These are fixed. We've gone through those pretty well. Um, and then... This page, I was assuming she was going to try and pull together tonight, perhaps tomorrow. And that, that's fine. And then she'll send it to you, Larry, to format and correct. And then, and then you can send it out by the end of the day tomorrow or Wednesday, Wednesday morning or something. Does that sound um, okay for folks, or you, would you like to see an interim draft at the end of tonight? Seems to me we should see one final draft if we get it Wednesday morning. Okay. Let's do that then, so we don't confuse folks. Am I looking at the, the most yeah. most draft or the least draft? I think okay. the people who are actually presenting, myself, Larry, Anna May, Jeff, should get on the phone and do a dry run walkthrough of this again, just to be comfortable about it. Yeah, good idea. So maybe when you get it, Larry, we'll connect with everybody and see if we can do our teams or something. Okay. That's fine. We could set something up pretty quick. And I do think, you know, it's so, so often um, how you uh, feel comfortable saying things. So if we need to tweak it, yeah. we can do that. I know that world. Right. Um, it looks like oh. since I'm the co-host, um, we have a hand raised, but um, let me defer to Anna Mae since this is your meeting as to and I'll stop sharing so we can go back to. Oh, okay, so there's a question from Chris. Please address how the forum will actually be run. How will questions be handled? Chat, video, video is much needed given the complexity of the project. You know, I, uh, and this has been, we've had a lot of forums lately and I, Tim, you can chime in tonight. Um, I find that people actually like the Q&A and on the whole versus being popped into video and just in terms of ease of um, getting the meeting going. So, but I'm very flexible about this, but I, I found that the, what, the couple of meetings ago where we did suggest to folks to beam over, people said, no, I prefer to, you know, on the whole, I prefer to just, um, answer or type in a Q&A. Tim Knight, do you have any kind of yeah, I'm, I'm, feedback? I, think right. I mean, right now, I think it's two, twofold Q&A, and we do welcome, could even be a statement, you know, hey, what are we missing, right? We want input, that's, that's the intention. Yeah, yeah, and we'll reiterate that. We'll have that slide, you know, to email us. Every email I get sent to the school committee email gets sent out to all of you, all the committee members. So um, I feel good that we have that. I, I, so this is a very different topic than the Warrior logo and the fall plan. I totally agree. Yet, I, I do think that the format is, is quite similar. 
But if people want to raise their hand and beam in, I'm, I'm for it. Absolutely. I, yeah, I, think, I think that's the clarifying point is you're receptive if somebody wants to. Sure. Um, just like a normal forum, you come to a microphone. Yeah, absolutely. That well, is absolutely fine. So right now, if you, the, the way this one is set up, this Zoom is panelists can raise the hand, but I don't think attendees have the function of raising their hand. Yeah, no, attendees can raise their hand. So um, They can so, on this? Yep, yeah, uh-huh, because Chris did raise her hand on this one. So, no, she, she wrote a, I'm talking about raise hand. Doesn't raise hand mean that you then become live? Like you can speak? No, it just means that, that you're looking to be recognized. But, but I thought there was a, there was a chat box which is what Chris used. And then there is a raise hand function that allows you then to be visually brought into it. No? Yes, if we if we beam you over from attendee to panel. Okay, all right, okay, all right, yeah. I don't know. A, a, a host or co-host can promote someone temporarily. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Them. So so who is, who is gonna MC all that? Is that gonna be Lynn or, or you are animating? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think, so the Q and A uh, is: Can I'd like to address live? We can we can say, okay, wait a minute. We'll bring you up. We'll answer the next question. Yeah. We'll bring him up. Yeah. Unless Owen, if you're live and you have a better option that Zoom offers, we're all ears. But I think we. Can yeah. No, I, I think what we've been doing today has been working quite well. Where, uh, as you say, we'd either do quite Q and A or, in lieu of that, move people over and then when they finish their input, move them back. Yeah, whatever they're comfortable with. You know, I you know there is no hard. Uh, I think yeah, we've you want to be beamed up. That's yeah. your, your question is. I would like to be beamed up to speak about X. Yeah, yeah. We're whatever the terminology you guys like. It's starting to feel very Star Trek. I was going to say, Scotty, beam me up. <laughs> Forget. I think that's Leo's word. Uh -huh. Cool. He's the Star Wars guy. Perfect. Yep. To be promoted. I like being. Right. So um, Wednesday, cool. maybe once we get it out, Larry will the presenters can at least do a walkthrough themselves. Okay. Yeah, I would, and then uh, I would, uh, you don't anime. I don't think you need a sub. You know, you're, that's your presenters. You're doing that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Then we don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Post or anything. Perfect. I'll send an invite around. Oh, um, thank you. Beautiful. I think we've got a game plan. All right. Thank you, everyone. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take roll call and all that crazy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, we opened the meeting <laughs> and um, so, I, sorry, belated. Uh, and um, now we're gonna take a roll call to close it. So Tim Bonfati, here and approve and adjourn. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Tim Knight. Here, approve, adjourn. Okay. And Anna May O'Shea Brooks. Sorry. Uh, anyways, all right, folks, we're doing our best. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Been great, Anna May. Thanks. Thank you, Anna May. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. See you. Thank you. See you. Bye.